ever since I was a kid working in my dad's metal shop, there was always fire, there was always hot stuff going around, and I was probably a little bit of a, of a pyro as a kid. I'd always be you know, messing around the shop, twisting metal and melting stuff, and all that kind of just sprung the creativity as I was older, and I could actually you know, functionally do something with it. Just being around it my whole life, it just inspired me to come this far. We make you know, creative, custom home decor that's artistic and also functional. So things like you know, plant hangers, and we make wine racks and jewelry trees. A lot of it's just stuff that we just start bending, creating in the shop to find something that you know we like or that's suitable. Um, a lot of the things that we've made are also like custom requests or maybe family. Definitely like our, our steel plant hangers. Those are like one of the biggest things that we sell. Because we make it so like one of the arms rotates around so people can actually get their stuff in and out of them and they can go inside and outside. And then we also make you know a wall mount that goes with them and it's all you know twisted wrought iron. It just matches really well and people have been buying those up like crazy. I mean, we have trouble keeping them in stock. <laughs> So I grew up kind of hanging out with my dad in his metal shop as he was, you know, completing projects and whatnot. I was just a little kid just kind of running around because he'd bring me with him all the time. I even remember when I was uh, in grade school and they give you those papers, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? I always wrote welder. Like, I always wrote that because I always wanted to be just like my dad. He was also a very creative person. He'd be making um, artistic items for my mom and for family members. And uh, I kind of found some of these things and just, I kind of started recreating them. And you know, as he saw me doing this, it just kind of expanded. He would give me some pointers, you know, maybe here, try this, try this. Here's a better way to, to bend that so it's not all wonky. He really just guided the process a lot and kind of, you know, made me who I am today. And I would not be able to do this without his, without his teachings. It's really sad that he, uh, he passed away too soon. I mean, it was super unexpected. My father has had this very same shop in Whitehall in this location for the last 30 years. Uh, no, more than 40 years now. Once he passed away, I just continued running the shop and exactly the way he had always done it, exactly the way he taught me. Uh, and he definitely was the kind of guy who never skipped any steps, never took the short route. He always did everything by the book and did it correctly. And that's why he you know, was such a, a renowned metal fabricator in this area, because everyone knows his name, everyone knows his work. I know he would be proud of where I brought this business and, and that's what makes me happy the most. And you know, I know he's, he's watching everything that we're doing here and he's just cheering me on. The material that we work with is all wrought iron steel. Um, we work with some stainless steel as well, like the art that we make is all stainless steel. Um, but it's all wrought iron. All of the metal that I use for my art, it's all scrap metal from a local metal shop. I go there, I'm really good friends with the guy, he kind of just sells me off his scrap. And then what I do is I twist the steel, I, it all starts in 20 foot lengths, and I might cut it down, I twist it into different shapes, um, it's all very abstract. Uh, it all starts out with just uh, sheets of stainless steel, and then I'll, I'll buff designs into it, and then I'll take the sticks of maybe a quarter inch square bar or three eighths square bar, and I twist them with my hand, twist them with my hand and into various, you know, circly shapes. And then I kind of figure out how I want it to sit on my metal. And then I'll weld it all in and then I'll use a torch with the stainless steel, which brings out the colors in it. There's a different variety of, of like the rainbow that you can bring out with heat on the stainless steel. And that's specifically why I use the stainless steel as a background. That's got to be the best feeling out there, is when you have somebody who loves this stuff just as much as you do. Because not everybody does. There's some people, you know, it depends on what your style is. It depends on what you like artistically. So then when someone comes and just is thrilled about our stuff, it just hits something special like inside. It's just like, ah, you love it, I love it. And then they take it home and you know that they're going to have that thing forever and they're always going to you know, think about where it came from and who made it. And just knowing that I've got pieces all around the world in people's homes just really just warms my heart. Like, I love it. I think a lot of the passion just comes from making things that people love. 
and I love metal so much. I just love working with it that anything that I can make that somebody else loves, it just brings me you know, pure joy.